Hello people of the Earth and welcome back to Quicksave TV. My name is Mike and this is StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. When we left off, we just finished fighting Zarvan, we finished the series. Let's go ahead, excuse me, and talk with other characters and just go on in conquering the Karpul sector. Did you know the Ancient One would turn on me? Your essence, it called him. And you didn't try to warn me. He was Zerg. You are Zerg. One dies, and one grows strong. You know. I think I'm starting to understand you, Dog. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to Isha. You have become Isha. strong and taken another world. I think you will conquer the universe. I don't know about that. But the Zerg will never again be pawns of other races. Not even the Zelnaga. We have changed, and now, other worlds await. Amazing. Hmm, <laughs> so cool. She's like, notice how the, the evolution... The essence of the primal pack leaders has awakened a new column and many abilities. I heard it, I heard it, Isha, it's okay. Calm down. What, what's interesting, like, she stepped from not wanting to be the Zerg leader to being a very, um, you know, very, very, how do you call it? Proactive Zerg leader, you know? <laughs> a huge change. Evolution pit. Okay, let's talk to Abathur. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh, see only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving, can chase, cannot catch. This is pretty awesome. You certainly have your uses. <laughs> Weird. So he eats it and then transforms. That's interesting. Okay, evolution mission, let's go. Hydralisk strain, ready for augmentation. <gasps> no Evolutionary brood discovered ancient Zerg essence in Dominion space. Brood under attack, limited I'm sorry, time. I wasn't listening, can you start again? Expeditionary brood discovered ancient Zerg essence in Dominion space. Okay. Brood under attack, limited time. Okay. Okay, so we have Impaler. Morse from Hydralisk. While burrowed, the Impaler strikes at single targets with its piercing tentacle, effective against armored enemies. And Morse from Hydralisk. While burrowed, the Lurker attacks multiple targets at once with its spines, effective against light enemies. Well, we already have the Dumbass, the thing, you know, that burrows. Why would we have a Impaler? I think the Lurker is an obvious choice, but let's see. Maybe I will change my mind again. I'm always like going into this evolution mission, I'm like, yeah, I completely know what I want to have. Because I'm, you know, the greatest engineer this world has ever seen. And then I see the actual options and I'm like, oh my god, they're awesome. Which one do I take? They're both awesome. Surprisingly well done. Again, from Blizzard. Wings of Liberty had the same notion to it. Like, you know, from one side it's kind of obvious, but from the other point of view it's not. Because both are a great choice. Okay, let's go. Very few games actually have it. Planet Merrick 5. Swarm hive cluster under assault. Medic 5? Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a lot better. My computer actually didn't explode. Stayed at 20 FPS. That's nice. That's not bad. That's shit. Prometheus. The Dominion's infestation specialist. We need to move fast. Essence nearby. Overmind creation, impaler colony, slow attack, incredible damage. Collect essence, adapt hydralisks, defeat dominion. Impaler colony? That's weird. Why not sunken colony or something? I don't know. What is this thing? Am I supposed to dodge it? I guess yes. Examining sequence incomplete. 
Must kill remaining impaler colonies. Ok. Oh look, it actually travels. That's pretty cool. That's a considerable amount of effort put in just a mission of the evolution, you know. Like a side mission, not even a full-scale mission. Pretty cool. Hydra is kind of lovely. <laughs> okay, we got it. Sequence acquired. Spinning impaler essence into hydralisk morph. Okay, so here they are. Hydralisk. Now able to morph oh, look at their heads. Impalers. They're pretty. <laughs> okay. Morph into impaler. Welcome back to Brood War, right? With the lurkers and everything. Okay. What's the speed of them? Speed is quite high. Impaler attacks while burrowed, damages single target, tears through armor. Move to the high ground. Twenty four That's insane. That's so much damage. Eleven range, what the fuck? What is this thing? Okay, I take it back, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. That missile turret could detect our impalers while burrow. Take it out first. Keep it together. Hmm, so much for keeping it together, eh? They have a very long range, that's amazing. These guys are lovely. Hello, Goliath. Barricades destroyed. Only Prometheus company base remains. Okay, we're gonna destroy it now. I like how they are a lot more. I still prefer this kind of bastards to the um the colony. What what are they called? Come on man, I forgot. The guys who spawn these things. The broodlings or whatever they No, not the broodlings, the other thing. Because these ones attack a lot faster and they're a lot more mobile. They feel a lot more mobile. You get them the hell out, look at them, how fast they are. You just get in position really quickly and... And that's it. Here goes the... Enemy. I mean, sure, yeah, they, there are a lot of them, that's a critical number of them, but still. It's well worth it. And look how quickly they destroy the command center, it's not even funny. This is just so quick. Imagine what they would do to Colossus. Jesus. Alternative hydralisk morph possible. Surviving lurker dens discovered. Okay. Let's earn another strain. Planet Caver. Once birthing colony for Dagoth's brood. Now oh, Dagoth. Yeah, the poor saw died. Was killed, actually. Yes, okay, computer explosion. No, it's okay. It's okay. Survivors of interswarm conflict. I can control them, but I can't morph more. Key transformation sequence missing. Requires lurker den. Let's go get it then. Secure nearby den. Return essence to swarm control. It looks like an anus. Okay, like look at it. It's like an. A, it's like a fucking ass with teeth. Okay. <laughs> God. The lurker den isn't far. Move out. 20 versus light 30. Range 6. Okay, let me just take a look at it. The feral zerg have sensed us. Burrow, quickly. Let's take a look at it. Lurker attacks many foes while burrowed. That's... Effective yeah, okay. Light enemies. Yeah, but the range is very low. I mean, I understand the purpose. But I think so far I prefer the impaler. Sure, they're incredibly effective against light. But do I really need it? And attack. I don't really need so many things. Sure, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. That's a lot of damage. And Splash. Splash is amazing. But Impalers, they are so long range. They're like siege tanks from underground. Reached. It's perfect. To extract essence. And they destroy... They destroy the exact thing that gives me problems, you know? 
They're attacking from the south. Defend the lurker den. Okay. So what if we do this? And do this. Okay. Another wave incoming. Keep them off the lurker den. Oh my goodness, will I have enough time? I think I will. I think I will have enough time. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Talk about balance. <laughs> These guys would make it such a well addition in multiplayer. Too bad they ain't there. Road mother ready to extract essence. Must prepare sequences for Hydralisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. So which one do I take you guys? Shit, man. Hydralisk Morph ready for integration. Await decision. Well, this guy looks a lot better. Looks a lot better, but I don't know. Wait a second. Impaler. Ah, it's Impaler, right? The Hydralisk itself looks a lot more fancy. Attack single targets while it's burrowed, effective against armored units. Impaler colony essence evolved, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Results can morph into a lurker, attacks multiple enemies while it is burrowed, effective against light groups, light group ground units. Yeah, but who gives a rat's ass? The, the, such units are easy to deal with anyway, I mean, you know. I have a guy that already one-shots them. Who is this guy? I don't remember. Someone one-shots them. I think Kerrigan. Kerrigan already one shots them. Why do I care? I'll, I'll take care of this guy. Impaler! Welcome to the swarm, bastard. Welcome to the swarm. Oh, you're so fabulous. Look at yourself. You're so green and nice and everything. You're gonna be camouflaged in the fucking forest and just sit there and just, you know, shh, the Thors are coming. We're gonna ambush them, you guys. They won't be able to see it coming. Literally. Okay. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Nothing to do here. The powerful essence of the primal pack leaders has awakened a new column and many abilities. But you told me it already one thousand times. Of abilities continue to awaken, Stupid asshole. <laughs> you will gain abilities in this third column as well. Okay. Let's travel now. Still need to travel Char. To Char, formerly the swarm's primary hive cluster in Damn the Prulu sector. I don't want to go to Char. Zerg and Terran factions vie for control of the planet. To reunite the swarm, you will need to reconquer Char. Okay. Your first opponent will be the renegade broodmother Zagara. She will not surrender her brood to you without a fight. Oh, all right. Yeah, and on this colorful note, I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video and my commentary, do not forget to hit the like button and favorite this video. Thank you so much for doing so. Stay tuned for more videos from me on Quicksafe TV. Have a greatest day, and I'll see you soon.